Christianity has the doctrine of the Trinity, in which God is said to manifest as three persons, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Let's compare this concept of three related divinities to different pagan religions. The ancient Egyptians had the trinity of Amun, Re and Ta. An Egyptian hymn reads, All gods are three, Amun, Re and Ta. Babylonians worship the trinity of Nana, Shamash and Ishtar. Hinduism has the concept of Trimurti, in which the supreme god, Brahman, is said to manifest as the three forms, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. The Hindu text, Padma Purana states, He who is that eternal god became the three gods, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. The Greeks had the goddess Hecate, whom they described as triple-headed and goddess of the triple ways. The Romans venerated Diana as Diva Triformis, which means three-formed goddess. A Roman poet wrote, O three-formed goddess, to thee I dedicate the pine tree. Northwestern European tribes worshipped a group of three female deities known as Matronae, which means matrons. Persians had the triad Ahura Mazda, Mithra and Anahita. An ancient royal inscription reads, May Ahura Mazda, Anahita and Mithra protect me and my building against evil. We can see that this concept of three related divinities is an ancient phenomenon which has been present in different pagan religions throughout the world. It's important to point out that the Christian trinity differs in its finer details when compared to these other cults. However, this basic concept of three related divinities is common to all of them and is fundamentally pagan. The Greek philosopher Aristotle had this to say about the mystical significance of the number three. Just as the Pythagoreans say, the whole and all things are delimited by the three, for end, middle and beginning have the number of the whole, which is that of the triad. Wherefore, we use this number also in the worship of the gods, taking it from nature as a law of it. The Quran restores the original monotheistic message of Jesus, who is not part of a trinity, but rather a human messenger and the Messiah.